on YouTube. Today we are targeting brook trout and brown trout. I'm at another mountain pond and so I'm going to be trying to show you some different techniques on how to target brook trout. I'm going to be using my same favorite lures and we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Oh, my rod just broke. It just broke my rod. Oh no. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that, come on. Oh, it's a brook. It's a brook, oh please. Oh, it broke my, t broke my rod. Oh. Come on, baby, come on. No, 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 get in there, get in there, get in there. Oh. Gotcha. <laughs> Broke my rod. Oh. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is a nice brook. Look at the mouth on that guy. Uh, come on, no, 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 no. Oh man. Got it. There we have it. Real nice brook trout. Gorgeous fish. Whoa, stop, 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 stop. And buddy Lance has got another one. Lance, what you catching them on? Z-Ray. So I don't even know what the Z-Ray lure looks like, but uh, I'll show you that in a little bit. Another brook or a brown? Looks like another brook another brook all right so when you're fishing with brooks one of the things i've noticed that they tend to strike about 10 within you know five yards of the bank so if you're in an area that you know there's brooks and you're casting out and you all of a sudden get a hit about five yards well that could be brooks biting um I'll have to look at the, the footage on the GoPro to see where this last brook that I just caught bought. I think it was a little further out, maybe about uh, seven yards out, but we'll see. But um, just as uh, my buddy Lance just caught his, he was just not far out from the bank over there. So stay tuned. There he is. It's a little guy, I think. Oh, I need to tighten. No, it's not. Maybe tighten, 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 tighten. Okay, what have we here? What have we here? Come on. Oh, another nice brook. Nice brook. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yes. In and out. There we go. Beautiful brook trout. Look at the colors, little pink dots on there. Let's see what it just looks like on the top. 
gorgeous. Let's let them go. All right, can you swim in that grass? There we go. Okay, so those last two trout, I caught them on a rooster tail, one eighth ounce, and uh, I don't know what color that is, but it is wacky. So, blade's got some colors on it. Seems to be working pretty well. <laughs> so I'm casting out this way and like I was saying earlier with brook trout a lot of times they are just a few yards off the bank so I'm gonna cast out again and hopefully um, I'll get them this time there he is <laughs> gotcha. there he is oh that's a good one all right put some drag Oh, this is a gorgeous one. Oh my gosh. That's not long enough, not long enough. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, gotcha. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this fish is. And he's got me all wrapped up. All right, okay, okay, buddy, okay. Look at that. Get that out of your way. Stop, stop. And this is why it's better to get nets with um, Oh, it came out easy. Nets with the um, rubber because your trebles don't get caught up in a net. But get it off there. Bring them off a bit. Look at that. Look at the red. Red colors on the fins. He got himself dirty. Yeah, let me turn him around. All right, I'm gonna let you go. Look at that. And these guys got some of the pinkest meat. It looks almost like salmon. Stop. All right, let's go. He's ready to go back. Go. Let's get another one. All right. So I'm just retying because this lure got bent on that last fish that I caught. So I'm gonna try. Try this black one. This is a. Uh, one sixteenth ounce rooster tail, black skirt, a little, some uh, glitter. So we'll see how that one goes. There he is. Oh, you got one too? <laughs> nice. <laughs> They struck at the same time. Come on. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. Oh, no. I got such light on it. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, there you go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so we just got two strike at the same time. Gosh, they're gorgeous, uh, Brooks. Check this out. Black one. Yeah. All right, come on. Here we go. 
something like that. Some of that Z, right? All right. And so that one was off that black rooster tail. Gorgeous pink. Easy. Nice brown. That almost looks like a tiger trout. Spots on it. Nice sprouts. Ah, oh, nice. You may have all booked them, I don't know. <laughs> That's a good one. I might have to retie after this. Actually, no, I don't. I've already had to retie. Tighten up this a little bit. I'm only using a four pound test. That's a good one. Nice. Thank you, sir. This one looks to be a male. Starting to get a little bit of a hook jaw. Yep. Yep. Look at the teeth on that guy. Yep. So all I'm doing with these uh, brook trout is just, uh, well, to catch the brook trout, I'm just, there he is, just casting alongside the bank. Oh, he's pulling. That's a fat boy. That is a fat boy. Wow. Thank you, sir. These are some slabs. Let's let them go. Come on. There you go. Come on. That way. That way. There you go. Should be to get him. Not that big. Well, they don't mind the green and pink. That's a nice one. Oh, he just came off the hook. He just, I just picked him up out of the net. And I'm like, why is my lure still in the net? <laughs> uh, yeah. Another good one. Let's let him go. Off the green. What's is that a one sixteenth ounce? Stay in the net. Was he out? Twisting. Oh, like an alligator. <laughs> I can't. You serious? You know an alligator? Oh, oh, it's all wrapped up in there. 
Good, buddy. Good. Good boy. What's going on guys? Today we had a blast catching brook trout. I don't know how many we ended up catching. They were all slabs. It was just an awesome day. Hey, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that little bell notification so you can be updated on upcoming videos and fish every river, lake, and ocean and we will see you on the next one. All right guys, so I'm gonna get ready to show you how to fillet um, this trout and the way I'm gonna fillet it you can use this on all sorts of different species um, The process is gonna be pretty much the same. So let's get started um, what I'm using is a uh, seven inch uh, Fillet knife, so all you got to do is just slide your fish and clamp Cramp its tail. Sorry. I'm a little, little bit on an angle A little bit on an angle. And so what you're gonna do is just take your fish and make a slice right here behind the gill plate just like that down to the backbone and then you want to take your knife and angle it that way and go towards the tail so you're just going to be feeling along that backbone and just slide your knife down through that tail and cut it through you don't have to worry about scaling trout um, because the scales are extremely tiny. So I'm gonna just leave that skin on. Flip it over, and you're gonna repeat the process. So you wanna go behind the gill plate, and like I was saying earlier, you can actually take your knife and just follow down the back, just kind of scoring it. You don't have to have the blade all the way in there yet. And just keep following it all the way down the backbone. Watch your fingers, or you can come in here, hold the head, turn your blade toward the tail, and just slice it on down through there. Uh, get that tail back in there so she's not moving around. All the way down to the tail. Some of that red meat. There we go. And I'm gonna leave this for the coyotes. All right, so there you have your two fillets. So we're gonna get rid of these rib bones. And that's why it's good to have this little clamp thing because you can kind of keep the fish from moving all over the place. I'm on a downhill slope right now. Cut that off. I'm leaving the skin on because of the way I'm going to cook it. Look at how orange that meat is. Gorgeous filet. This one, I've already, just the way I cut it, it's already missing a bunch of the ribs, so I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. Clean that up. And there we have a nice 
brook trout filet, nice and orange. Stay tuned for a catch and cook. All right, so we have our filets here. Um, I did go ahead and cut the skin off this one. So I'm gonna show you how you can cut the skin. Um, I decided to cook the fish another way. And so what you wanna do is lay your filet out. And you want to, I make a little slit here at the back so I can put my fingers down in there and pull your cutting board to the edge. And you just start slicing. You don't want a steep angle because you'll cut through um, the trout skin. Um, trout skin is pretty soft and um, yeah, it's very easy to cut through. And so all I'm doing is just working the, the uh, knife back and forth. Just like that. Letting the knife do the work. And there you have it. Cut the skin off, and this is what the back looks like. All right, some nice fillets. And there's the other one with the skin sliced off. So I'm just going to put just a tiny bit of olive oil, extra virgin, a little in my hands. Just rub that in on the fish. Just a tiny bit. This helps the seasoning stick to the fish. Okay. Now, I'm gonna season it with a little Everglades. Everglades original. Just a little bit. You don't want to overpower your fish, unless you like that kind of taste. All right, so we got our fish seasoned up nicely. All right, so we got the fish seasoned with Everglades. I'm just gonna throw a little cracked pepper. And that's gonna do it for now. All right, so I just got a little bit of Kerrygold butter in there melting, cast it in a pan, and let's put a fillet in there. All right, so you wanna lay your fillets away from you so you don't get splashed. Looking good, time to flip. Very nice. So now what we're gonna do is put splash of lemon. If your lemon's hard, um, you can leave it for a couple days, or what you can do is uh, roll it, and it helps get the juice out of it. So what I'm gonna do is put some the lemon in there. This looks done. So I'm gonna get it off of here. All right, let's do a quick taste test.
Mm. Brook Trout and Brown Trout are my two favorites. Nice and flaky. Delicious. So, I'm gonna have this for lunch. And this um, this dish actually makes a really good uh, keto diet. Uh, keto meat. Look at those flakes, y'all. Nice and flaky. Mm. A little more lemon. Delicious. So that's gonna do it for this one, you guys. Hey, leave a comment below if you would like to see me do more catch and cooks. And remember, fish every river, lake, and ocean, and we will see you on the next one.